Hey guys, it's Kara here, and I am back with a phenomenal recipe, probably one of the best. I am gonna make for you mint Oreo balls. How delicious does that sound? I know you guys love balls, so let's get started. First, what you're gonna need is some gourmet mint cookies and cream. This is probably my favorite protein right now by MTS Nutrition. Surprised the shit out of me. I didn't think I was gonna like it because I'm not a huge mint chocolate person, but this is probably my favorite protein right now. So go get some at Tiger Fitness if you don't already. What you're gonna need to do, I am gonna make this recipe to make two balls. How about that? So I am gonna do a half a scoop of protein, but depending on how many you wanna make, you could just double the ingredients if you guys want more. So one half scoop of that protein, we're just gonna throw it in a bowl and all you're gonna need is a fork. So the next thing we're gonna add to this is gonna be some coconut flour. I like using coconut flour in this because it does add a sweetness. So you can certainly use oat flour, um, wheat flour, whatever you want, but you're not gonna get that same sweetness or consistency that the coconut flour adds. So I'm gonna add one full tablespoon of the coconut flour. This also adds a little bit of fiber to our recipe too, which is always nice. Next thing I'm gonna use is the Hershey's Special Dark Cocoa. If you don't have the Special Dark, you can use regular, but I really prefer the Special Dark because it just tastes that much more chocolatey. So I'm gonna add one full tablespoon of that right in the bowl. And then to sweeten this up a little bit more, the protein already is a little bit sweet, but I like my shit sweet. So I'm gonna add one full tablespoon of Splenda, but feel free to adjust based on your preferences. Okay, and for wet ingredients, I am going to use, if you guys have egg whites, go ahead and use pasteurized egg whites. I've got egg substitute on hand, so I'm gonna use one tablespoon of liquid egg substitute. And the next thing I'm gonna add is one tablespoon of almond milk. Again, you can use whatever kind of milk you want. All right, so now that is all it takes. We're gonna take a fork, and mix this bad boy up. So at first, it's gonna seem a little watery, but you just have to keep mixing it till you get that desired consistency here. Just wanna make sure you mash all the flour into it. Make sure everything, all the egg, everything's mixed in together. Then you just take that big scoop of it. You usually just put it on a paper plate. See how dark and rich looking it is? This is so super easy. I like this recipe for if I'm like at home after work on a weeknight and I'm just craving something sweet but I don't wanna like overdo it, I'll just make one of these up. So it does stay a little bit sticky, which is fine. You wanna wash your hands. But you can either make one big ball or two balls of your mint Oreo balls. It's a little bit messy, but it's that easy. You get two nice sized balls, tastes delicious. If you guys don't have the mint flavor yet, you can rotate something else in there, use a different protein. Um, it's delicious. It tastes like, it tastes like Oreo batter, I guess. It tastes so good. Sweet, a little bit messy, but that's just the way I like it. So give this video a try. Hope you try this recipe out and like it. Don't forget to head over to my channel and subscribe. Please give this a like if you like it. And if you like my swag, Head on over to Tiger Fitness and go purchase some. Use my discount code on your MTS needs, and we'll see you soon. Bye.